And they used to champion themselves as the party of the working class, but our next guest has a new moniker for them, the Marie Antoinette Democratic Party. Pelosi is hitting the beaches near Florence at a lavish Italian resort. Governor Gavin Newsom, he's vacationing in Montana, even though he has restricted state-sponsored travel there. And Obama, well, the Obamas are always lecturing from their Martha's Vineyard mansion or Hawaii retreat. And Hunter, Hunter Biden is spending his father's presidency paying $20,000 a month to rent out a mansion in Malibu. Joining us now is Victor Davis Hanson, senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. Victor, the rules never apply to the elites, never. No, this is the aristocracy and people forget the, the Democratic Party is not Harry Truman's party anymore, Laura. It's the party of the very wealthy. But more importantly, they don't care because the consequences of their ideology fall on somebody else. So we kind of say, don't they understand about $6 a gallon in California or border communities that are destroyed or you can't afford meat or there's, there's no baby formula? And the answer is no. And the answer is no because they don't associate with people who have real problems. So they talk about climate change or Davos or transgenderism, maybe these are issues that are important to them, but they're not, they don't pull very high to the middle people, the middle class people, and yet they're not around them. They don't go to the French laundry. They don't go to Tuscany. They don't have three mansions. They don't have a Biden compound. And so I think we have to change our mentality and think and re recalibrate that the Democratic Party is a party of the very wealthy, but more importantly, the party of the elite and the very poor and it's the republican party and that's that's the middle class and that's why people are leaving the democratic party they understand that now now on fox this week victor um buddha judge that expert in transportation was asked about um the biden administration continuing to blame putin for all the gas price hikes half of that increase started prior to the first russian soldiers arriving near ukraine you can't blame it all on the ukraine right what about the other half well, that no, was, what about the other half? No, that's, that, uh, that's that, a pretty that, important that. half. Victor, <laughs> is he really as out of his league as he appears? But it, uh, the chickens are coming home to roost on this cabinet. I mean, they're the most unqualified, inexperienced people I've ever seen assume any type of power in executive branch ever. That's saying something. Yeah, translated what Pete Buttigieg just said, Laura, is that if you're in California you're paying 660 a gallon it wasn't that bad you should you were happy when you were paying 5 when the war started which was 2 dollars over 3 and he's talking to a to a public that can't drive very far at almost 7 dollars a gallon gas and they don't want to fly anymore because they get stranded and there's no flights out of these connections so he's a transportation secretary the whole airline industry is in shambles the transportation and uh, industry, trucking, cars, uh, commuters is in shambles. And he's telling you, don't worry, gas is sky high, but only half of the increase uh, was our fault. The other half was Putin's. He's just out of touch. And he's just, he's, you know, he's again, symbolic, iconic of this, uh, of this aristocracy, arrogant, uh, democratic elite. And they don't understand what's coming in November. And it's going to be a middle class pushback against their arrogance and and you know what it is it's also their selfishness they don't care about people at the border no. communities they have no concern whatsoever for people who can't afford meat they don't know what it's like to be a long-haul trucker or farmer and pay seven dollars no. a gallon for gas no, victor we gotta so roll but i think it's worse than that i think they want to punish yeah they want to they want to punish americans that's what they want. Victor, great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.